factor negative 17x squared plus 51. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. So when you're trying to do a problem like this, you really want to see what you can factor out from both terms, from this term here and from this term here. So right away you're thinking maybe 17 because you can pull out a 17 from here and also 17 times three is equal to 51. So you can pull out a 17 from the second term. However, there is a negative here. So what we're going to try to do in this problem is pull out the negative 17. The thought process, at least the way I do it, is as follows. I first write down the negative 17. So negative 17. And then I put a parenthesis. And then I think about, okay, what needs to go here? So in other words, what do you multiply by negative 17 in order to get what's up here. So what's missing? Well, you're missing an x squared. So then you go down here and you write the x squared. Again, you ask yourself, what is missing here to get what's here? So x squared. Then over here you have a 51. And here you have a negative 17. So what do you need to multiply negative 17 by in order to get a positive 51? Well, we know it has to be negative because negative times negative is positive. And so negative three will work because three times 17 is 51 and the negatives will become a positive. And that's pretty much it. You could keep going, but most people are gonna be okay if you leave your answer like this. Now, for those of you that want to go further, just note that you can go further. There is a formula called the difference of squares formula. It says if you have a squared minus b squared, that's equal to parentheses a minus b times a plus b. So when we look at three, we're thinking, well, that's not a number squared. It actually is, check this out. You can actually be really clever and write it like this. Negative 17 parentheses x squared minus, and then you can write it as the square root of three squared, like that. And then you can apply the difference of squares formula. This is negative 17, parentheses. So your a is x and your b is the square root of three. So it'll be x minus the square root of three times x plus the square root of three. So that would be a fully factored answer but in most cases, this answer is also gonna be okay. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.